1965 Deluxe Microbus. Of course, it's a Volkswagen. Uh, it's very dry, very straight, really clean bus. Just like factory new. Pretty much a stock appearance, a little bit of a performance upgrade. 2110cc engine. Body is really straight, the lines are crisp, all the gaps, the doors, bumpers, everything lines up nice. Again, it's a, it's a full restoration, rotisserie, uh, there's no, no anything left undone, it is really a clean, dry, superb handling bus. Really a joy to drive. It's got twenty thousand two hundred and fifty-two miles on it. The speedometer was rebuilt and set to zeros back when it was restored in 2012. Again, the body lines are really nice. The gaps are good. Everything is straight, closes nice, opens nice. It even has the little catches. Holds the door open there. Holds the door open there. Really clean wiring harness, fuse block. Everything's mostly original. If not, it's been replaced. Floors are really dry, solid, done correctly. Again, this was a rotisserie rebuild. It's painted on the bottom side while on the rotisserie. And it's really clean. There's some of the seam sealer seems to be showing some, you know, it holds some dirt there, but it, there's no rust. There's nothing rusted through anywhere. There's some road tar and debris in there because this bus has been driven 20,000 miles in the last four years. It's just really a clean, dry bus. It's got a remote uh, Mesa style oil cooler with a fan. It's got a mid mount with rubber mounts in it uh, for the transmission. A little more stability for higher horsepower and, and torque. Does have a, a quart and a half sump on it. Uh, it's running uh, synthetic dot five brake fluid. All the systems, the brakes, and everything is all new. Engine's all new. Uh, basically, this is a this is a bus with twenty thousand miles on it. Get behind the wheel, sit right here, look out those windows, enjoy that air coming in. You know, it's got everything uh, that it's supposed to have. Uh, rear bolt steering box from uh, Wolfgang International. Uh, it's all 12, been converted to 12 volt electrics. It's got a 67 only front uh, sway bar on it, better handling. Uh, again, this is. Just a really dry, clean example of a 1965 bus. This one was born on April 22nd, 1965, according to the M code. An original 21 window bus from the factory. Uh, pretty much flawless. It's fun to drive, gets a lot of attention, gets best to show, and uh, there's a little tar there. Yep. A little tar. Because it gets driven. You know, it's a good, it's a really good bus. Again, the lines, the gaps are all good. The, everything lines up nice. Everything shuts nice. You know, the, the seals all hold water fairly well, or repel water fairly well, rather. Really clean, everybody loves it. 
Many of my friends have driven it, and uh, really, really, it's, it's a good bus. It really is. Really good dry bus. Doors, you know, there's no rust on the bottom of the doors or anything. Let's get there. The floor is nice. Got the correct kick panels, you know, the heater log is back there. Panel on the middle seat, the hard to find middle seat, two third version. Again, you know, the, the gaskets, everything closes real nice. You know, there's a good seam on all the gaskets. You know, it just, it just really is a quiet, tight bus. You know, it's just really nice. You know, it's clean everywhere. The headliner is, you know, me and some friends put it in, and uh, we did a pretty good job on it. It's not perfect, but it's better than most of the ones I've seen out there. So, feel good about that. Again, it's pretty much factory correct appearance-wise. A little bit of performance upgrade in the engine, transmission, a little bit bigger tire. It's got a, a light truck tire, a. Uh, 205R14C. It's got some incredible sidewall. I think it's 2,271 pounds. That's what you need when you're hauling, you know, a bus full of people, a lot of weight. Again, I see I should have cleaned the fender well. Well, that's just dirt from driving. Uh, it's got kind of a tucked away muffler. It's got inch and a half uh, performance heater boxes on it. So it does have heat. Uh, the air condition you get is uh, whatever you can get through the windows, but there's 21 of them. It's got the uh, European style blade bumpers with no overriders. And this is European only deluxe trim. It's an original trim, it's been mended and polished. As is the, the belt line trim. That's all original Volkswagen, uh, original of this bus trim. And it, uh, it cleaned up really nice. It's just really a nice, good, clean example of a bus. Um, if you're looking to buy a 21 window bus, this is a good one for the price. It really is. Look around, look under it, look in all these places of the other ones you look at, and uh, do some comparison. Jail bars. Got all the pop outs. It's, uh, you know, it's got the big sunroof that everybody loves. Uh, there's the Top 20 Award from Buses by the Bridge this past January 2016. Again, more jail bars, nice solid doors. There's no rust or anything to really worry about in any of the doors anywhere. is a 2110 uh, that's an 82 by 90.5 pretty much all these parts internals the long block was pretty much all bar and parts from CB performance I put it together myself uh, almost 30 years of experience working on Volkswagens and uh, I learned from the best uh, Al Shelton uh, in Winsville Missouri SRP Shelton Racing and Performance worked part-time for him for a long time Helped him in the shop. I do a lot of welding and fabricating. Uh, this is a little air box. Uh, Optima Red Top. Uh, VIN number is down in there. I need some light for that, but I'll have pictures of that. Um, you know, it's just really a clean bus. Uh, modified this apron to accept a crank start. I thought it'd be fun to maybe crank start it. What about this engine, even though it is low compression? It's got dual Weber 44 carburetors. Uh, that's about a 7.8 to 1 compression motor. It's low compression, a lot of torque. Um, you know, it runs fine. Does really good, pushes the bus along great. 
Okay. This is my uh, 21 window bus. I'm looking to sell it. Got other projects in mind. Got a few home repairs I'd like to do. And other than that, uh, this baby would stay in my life forever. So uh, thanks for looking. And uh, give me a call. Let's talk.